Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rad Kutsaro, this is Rad and in this whole video we are going to check on how uh, the next week is going to affect Taurus or what kind of the uh, experiences Taurus are to have throughout the week which is uh, 26th of October into the 1st of November 2020 and uh, in case you are uh, interested in a personal reading with me or you just want to dive deeper into tarot with uh, some of my tarot classes uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website where you can pretty much find both of those uh, those things and how to uh, how to get them so with that being said um Moving to the spread straight away, which is an eight card spread, is separated into two layers. So the upper layer is going to describe uh, your career, uh, your relationship, I'm sorry, and as well your love life. While the downer layer of the spread is going to pretty much divulge on the uh, professional manifestation, which is equated to a, uh, accounted to a, our career, jobs, etc., etc. So just so I can make it easier on myself, I'm going to open the first layer first and I'm going to make an interpretation on it and then I'm going to move to the downer layer after that, just so I don't get myself distracted. Right, so what we have here is uh, the Hermit with the Nine of Eight Pentacles followed by the uh, Hierophant and the next one or the last one of the upper layer is going to be the Tree of Swords. Uh, it's pretty peculiar uh, to say the least. Uh, it's because these two in a such of a positions you don't usually find them because they contradict themselves pretty bad. So what we do have here in, uh, in your love life Taurus is that uh, your conviction in terms of whom you love whom you want to be with or whom you are with is going to grow exponentially throughout this uh, throughout this week and it's just you know it's just going to make you even more convinced that you know that's your guy or that's your woman that's your person that's your love and etc etc now it's because we do have the nine of pentacles here into the second position that only could speak in such a narrative for a couple of things uh, first of all, it could speak that you can't rush the things around. That's pretty much uh, that's pretty much obvious. But also the other thing is that you can't get the things way too serious at that particular stage of uh, the relationship, the interaction, and so on and so forth. As with the Nine of Pentacles, things get to a completely new level of seriousness, if I may say it that way, uh, in terms of how people are tackling with their stuff and in terms of how people are interacting into their uh, into their situation, in your particular case, into your, into your love situations. And that is, uh, as the, these two cards are contradicting and we are uh, removing the contradictory from them, the, uh, the, the, the milder and slow pace that you have to adopt from the Nine of Pentacles because in this position the Nine of Pentacles points what you should not do so you should do the opposite of that meaning that you should be slow uh, you should be kind of like um, oh, what is the English word more like a detached from the midst of seriousness the Hierophant into the third position it kind of points to the natural unfoldment in between two people I could say you know that friendships here could uh, could transform into more than just the friendships but that will um, that will happen in a, in a far later stage than the stage the, the the relationship is within this particular week okay so you got to give it time to unfold you have to follow the rules uh, and whatever problems as well you do have with your uh, with your wife or a husband with your person of interest or partner etc etc they can be resolved I mean you just have to talk about them okay uh, it, it's these problems uh, the, the resolution of these problems is very well found within the framework of, of the current situation so you don't have to reinvent the wheel you, you don't have to make up things or kind of like presume if I may say it that way uh, why things are happening you pretty much see why things are happening like that's your guess it's 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 real and you have to go by it 
Now, another thing that uh, this uh, reading here shows up, it is that while things are supposed to go rather slow than jumping, how can I say, mindlessly uh, into a deep commitments, you have to take a little bit of a break uh, in a sense of uh, to withdraw yourself from all that just for maybe a couple of days. It could be for some couple of hours are going to be uh, enough as well uh, because you have to pretty much make peace with your emotions in a sense of that you have to, um, it's difficult to describe it, um, You need to be sure that your emotions are, are true and for some that will be through missing the person you know you withdraw yourself you see that the woman or the guy you you miss the woman or the guy and then you say to yourself you know since I miss them then then that's my guy or that's my woman right uh, so you you have to go through something like that in order to make your convictions true that that is your person or that is not your person and so on and so forth so you should not be surprised taurus if throughout those that that week you feel the necessity to withdraw it's completely normal is because you need to find out for yourself not just only if it works your while but if it's that that that's the real thing for you and the week pretty much ends into things being thrown into dynamic once again here with the Three of Swords where uh, despite all of your convictions, you know, things that uh, or kind of like enterprises or an activities that you haven't considered as are starting to appear. And with the Three of Swords, uh, your not your intentions, but your presumptions, because as much as you try not to presume, everybody has a presumptions, your presumptions are going to get shattered in one ear and in another way. And uh, it's very important to stick to the plan at that point, not to give up to some random events that are not corresponding with your, with your thoughts, with your plans, and as well with the conviction you have, who do you like? Who do you love? Why do you love them? Uh, and what is the real state of uh, of your relationship? So moving next, we are having the uh, career manifestation here. Now, the first one is going to be the moon card, followed by uh, the uh, temperance. After that is the death card. And then we do have the four of swords. I do have a very good friend Taurus that shared me that shared something to me recently, and that reading it is just a confirmation that the proposition they got, they gotta get it. And I would ask you, have you recently stumbled upon an opportunity to make a major change, but not like a new job or something like this? Well, it could be a new job, but that is a uh, like. Um, and then uh, uh, this energy on steroids, but instead some kind of a proposition to change something within your current job. Because the dead sits here into the third position, that's why I don't think it's going to be that major, like changing to career or like changing into job, but it's going to be an offer to change your current state of the job. And that, frankly said, is going to scare you. Um, here with the moon card you wouldn't see it coming first or you haven't saw it coming first and then second you don't know how this is going to turn out for you now frankly said having the uh, temperance here into the second position uh, it means that you may have serious doubts that you will be able to handle it not professionally but purely um, enthusiastically or emotionally to say the least or if I can say it in another way you may be afraid that that is going to add a too much stress on top of you. So uh, what is the best possible approach here? Well, the first one is to embrace the things that are in flux and they want to go away from you, okay, in terms of a career and accept the new proposition of your boss, your supervisor, or somebody else, or the universe itself. Uh, and the other thing is that you need to, you need to know that... Um, can I say it? Here with the moon card, there is a plan for you. I mean, much bigger than what you are doing right now. And what is happening to you, it's part of this plan. You can't ex escape it. Even if you do have the opportunity to deny it, 
right now I mean to deny the proposition or to deny the opportunity, that opportunity or that proposition is gonna haunt you and it's gonna catch up with you eventually once again. So you can't escape it. So I might as fact take it earlier than later, at least in my book, and it's definitely gonna lead you to a place where you belong. So to a position you belong, to a standard you belong, you know, to a job you belong and so on and so forth. Very important, however, is that before you actually uh, take on to the proposition, you have to make your demands. That is here with the temperance sitting into the second position. And as soon as you do that, by the end of the week, should you make so, uh, you are going to end up in a pretty peaceful place here with the Four of Swords where, you know, everything is cleared out, everything is negotiated, you know how things are going to play out for with the Four of Swords. There won't be any, uh, how, how do you say it, a beguiling points into the contract or into the proposition itself that are going to make you do things you haven't signed up beforehand and pretty much um you know you will feel pretty pleased because you're going to get exactly what you have signed up for so that's why it's very important here to to make your demands before actually you agree to the uh to the proposition itself and if your uh demands are not preposterous they are to be accepted okay so we do have a uh, prop uh you propelling yourself forward in term of career but only if you aren't afraid for what is coming to you in this uh, particular week and take on the opportunity so that being said guys this was your weekly general tarot reading and uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye